June has long been earmarked as the month for moving on. Now it's not moving so quickly. Not in parts of Scotland due to have restrictions reduced next week. Not until the day of zero deaths is every day. Some areas north of the border will step down on schedule from level two to one. But places like Edinburgh will not. Nicola Sturgeon called it a slight slowing down. In areas where cases are relatively high or rising, our judgment is that a slight slowing down of the easing of restrictions to allow time for more people to be fully vaccinated will help protect that progress overall. The Holyrood announcement eased Glasgow onto level two restrictions, the city having been stuck on level three. The pause in progress will affect millions across Scotland. I think it's a good idea. You're better to be safe than sorry. Uh -huh. I think that it's a cautious approach is a sensible approach, but um, it, yeah, the, the quicker we get vaccinated and, and back to normal, obviously, the better. The Holyrood roadmap out of restrictions isn't one drawn in straight lines. Nicola Sturgeon said she had had to adapt to changing circumstances and a changing impact of the pandemic. It would be wrong, she said, to ignore warnings from scientists of a third wave. It is a politician's response to the scientists up north. What now down south? June the 21st is the proposed date for England lifting all restrictions. But the same scientists issue similar warnings and calls for delay. We have a new virus with new characteristics in a situation that's never really been replicated anywhere in the world. And, uh, uh, and the adversary is a virus that has uh, exceeded all expectations in its ability to mutate, to uh, generate new mutations, to, to, to make itself fitter and faster, and to avoid some of our immunity. So, so this is not something uh, that we should be um, underestimating. The vaccination effort is a key element in decision making. So two case numbers. Tuesday was the first day since the pandemic began that the UK reported zero deaths although there can be delays in reporting on a bank holiday weekend. There are encouraging signs, but still with uncertainty and continued fears of pressure on the NHS. If you look at previous lockdowns, it's really been pretty clear they were the only means of preventing NHS overwhelm. So as far as we're concerned, they were pretty open and shut cases. I think it's much more finely balanced this time. Downing Street says the Prime Minister hasn't seen anything in the data to delay a lockdown exit. His decision, when it comes, will balance public safety and expectation. The way the cases are going down at the moment and the way it's been a steady uh, pace, I think it's good. Because rather than just lifting everything in April, they've waited. And I think it's working pretty well. I'm trying not to worry about anything. You know, I'm just trying to enjoy the sun. And I'm trying not to worry about anything else at the moment because it's just been going on for too long. Edinburgh having reached its June day conclusion, it's now London's turn. A decision about the 21st is due the week before. It will be a tough call, risking, as it does, tough consequences. James Matthews, Sky News, Edinburgh.